Still to come, we'll take you to a big star-studded fashion show. And up next, we'll take you to a big star-studded divorce. What is going on with Roseanne and Tom Arnold? She is going after Tom with a vengeance. She's doing everything she can to ruin his life. She's really trying to disgrace him in every way. Well, by now, you know the romance has gone out of the relationship between Roseanne and Tom Arnold. Roseanne is filing for divorce. Insiders say Tom may have taken up with another woman. Couple this with the appearance on 60 Minutes by Roseanne's family denying her very nasty allegations of abuse, and the storm surrounding Roseanne is intensifying. Craig Rivera reports. It's official. The honeymoon is over for the first couple of comedy, Roseanne and Tom Arnold. Inside Edition has tracked down some eyewitnesses who may add fuel to the fiery Hollywood split. Eyewitnesses who say they recently saw Tom Arnold together with a woman rumored to be in the middle of the breakup. About two weeks ago, uh, her and Tom came through the door. I can't hear you. You have to speak up. Yesterday, Roseanne filed for divorce and asked for a restraining order. In the divorce papers, Roseanne claims Tom often pushes her against walls while screaming at her. Roseanne says last week, Tom stormed into her TV studio, assaulting four people, and then broke into her home and threatened the lives of her four kids. She is going after Tom with a vengeance. She's doing everything she can to ruin his life. After pulling the plug on his TV series, she's really trying to disgrace him in every way. The split has all of Hollywood buzzing. Insiders blame it on the couple's assistant, 24-year-old Kim Silva. Silva rose from receptionist to the couple's top aide in only 18 months. And at one time, Roseanne and Tom said they planned to have a three-way wedding with Silva, but later admitted that it was all a hoax. Well, it's not a real marriage, obviously. It's, it's, Before they claimed that the three of them were getting married, everybody really thought that Tom was having an affair with her. Silva grew up in South River, New Jersey. We took our cameras to the local bar there and found some eyewitnesses with first-hand sightings that may add to the Arnold's marital woes. Her and Tom came through the door, and it was like instantly, you know... <laughs> Everybody instantly recognized Tom, and uh, everybody knows her from being a regular customer here. Uh, Kim wanted to introduce him to all her friends that she grew up with and went to high school who all hang out here also. Although at first it seemed Roseanne and Tom had found the perfect union, Roseanne's parents saw trouble coming. I never had a good relationship with Tom Arnold, never. A few years ago, when they spoke to Inside Edition to counter Roseanne's accusations of child abuse, they lashed out at Tom Arnold. I said to Roseanne, I said, but are you aware of the pain that this man is going to give you? Knowing his background and what he come from and what he did and his lifestyle. And little did I know at that time that Helen and I would be the recipient of the pain. Since last Friday's outburst on the Roseanne set, Tom has moved out of their Brentwood home and is believed to be staying either in Beverly Hills' exclusive Peninsula Hotel or in the Los Angeles condo he bought six months ago. But many say even with Roseanne's divorce papers, the unpredictable couple may not stay apart forever. She's looking for every possible way to get even with him for breaking her heart, which is what I suspect he's done. Roseanne was scheduled to receive a comedy award at UCLA today. However, she canceled that appearance. And unconfirmed reports have her in Europe taking a vacation. And when Inside Edition comes back in just a few moments, a fashion show that... The one and only Roseanne Arnold was expected to unveil her larger size fashions at the shows, but didn't. Was it her marital problems? No, it was because she's suing her clothing company over a money dispute. With Roseanne's past filled with highly publicized claims of childhood incest, drug abuse, and multiple personalities, one psychologist is concerned that these latest revelations may be tainted by what some call the boy who cried wolf syndrome. You have to take it with a grain of salt. But just because the past has not turned out to be so uh, doesn't mean that the present isn't something that you're suffering with. Along with divorce papers, Roseanne obtained a restraining order against her husband, requiring that he stay at least 100 yards from their Los Angeles home. According to those documents, Roseanne and Tom have lived apart for the past six months, with Tom residing at an exclusive Wilshire Boulevard condominium. 
The court order also requires Tom remain at least 100 yards from the soundstage of Roseanne's hit ABC sitcom. Roseanne fired her husband as executive producer of the series Friday. Most media observers believe his departure from that show and the couple's separation will have little impact on Roseanne's career. As far as Tom uh, goes, I think his future is a lot more questionable. I think his show on CBS is not doing very well, and I think that, uh, that people have kind of given him a break because he's Roseanne's husband. I think he's the one who's got the most to lose out of all this. According to a spokeswoman for Warner Brothers, which produces Tom Arnold's CBS series, quote, we will finish the season with Tom as is. There's a lot of time between now and next season. Jim Moray, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood. I'm glad you joined us. Roseanne and Tom Arnold have been known to do some pretty bizarre things to get a little ink in the papers, but this time the Hollywood couple isn't telling stories of their undying love for each other. This time they're at each other's throats. John Johnston reports on one of the biggest bust-ups in Hollywood and the woman who may just be the third wheel that sent Rosie to divorce court. Is it possible that they're Tom Arnold's clothes? Has he been kicked out of the house? Roseanne Arnold is either getting ready for a garage sale or husband Tom Arnold is moving out. This was the scene early this morning outside their Hollywood mansion as Roseanne's assistants carried away any sign that Tom once lived here. It could be just another stunt, but uh, I don't think anything has been as serious as this before, and um, it, it could be, well be the end of Tom and Roseanne. Word on the street, along with Tom's clothes, is that the most outrageous couple in Hollywood is getting a divorce. On Friday, the two engaged in the mother of all screaming matches while taping the season's final episode of Roseanne. They've had a volatile relationship during their four years of marriage, but... Uh, I don't think anything has uh, been so public as this before. And according to Brendan Bourne, a New York Post correspondent, Roseanne ended the fight with a resounding knockout punch. There was a huge uh, shouting match in the parking lot outside the production offices uh, with Tom and Roseanne uh, going at each other full blast. Then Roseanne ordered the locks to be changed on the production offices and also put a security guard outside the family home in Brentwood with orders not to let Tom back inside the house. So basically, Tom was barred from both the production offices and their marital home. Hollywood is speculating the reason for the superstar breakup is none other than Kim Silva. Look closely. It appears that Kim's clothes are being thrown out as well. The beautiful 22-year-old was the Arnold's constant companion and vice president of their production company and the third member of their bizarre relationship. It seems that uh, it does have something to do with uh, the production assistant, Kim Silver. Kim entered into a, a bizarre three-way marriage uh, between uh, Roseanne, Tom and herself in December, more or less as a stunt. But uh, various sources say that the marriage may be a little closer to the truth. And now, only three months after they joined in this unusual union, it seems Roseanne finds the relationship anything but amusing sitcom material. But back in November, when I asked Tom and Roseanne about their relationship with Kim, Roseanne denied rumors that Tom and Kim were having an affair. Rosie, I know they've been painful for probably all of you. Uh, I know who did. I know who said it. They were not painful. That's all. It was a person that I fired. That blame Kim for losing her job, and she went right and told everybody all this stuff about Kim. Well, now the shoe's on the other foot because Roseanne reportedly gave Kim the boot on Friday. According to reports in uh, Daily Variety this morning, Kim's also been fired uh, along with Tom, which would suggest that uh, um, Roseanne is uh, best not happy with Kim uh, being around the offices. Then, just yesterday, Roseanne was rocked by another bombshell when her family went on national TV to say her claims of being abused as a child were a pack of lies. Roseanne's marriage to Tom may not have been made in heaven, but it certainly was made for Hollywood. And they even showed their wacky home videos right here on A Current Affair. You sure look sexy, Pooh. Wow, are you hot tonight? But today, Roseanne filed for divorce, and it seems the good times are over for this celebrity duo. Oh, shut up. 
Tom has uh, got to do a little bit of crawling if he wants to get back in favor. Well, Roseanne is asking that the courts not be allowed to determine if Tom Arnold should get anything in the divorce. She wouldn't have had it any other way. Silva's relationship with Rosie and Tom is just the tip of a very chilly iceberg that's sending Rosie to divorce court. Mike Watkins reports on the blockbuster breakup that's getting uglier by the second as Roseanne now claims in court papers she was abused and battered by Tom. Mike, what have you got there? Maureen, this is the restraining order against Tom Arnold that Roseanne was granted yesterday. And let me tell you, it is jam-packed with the ugly allegations from Hollywood's messiest divorce. And behind me is the luxurious condominium that Tom is now said to be hiding out in in the wake of this scandal. And by his side, that mysterious young woman, Kim Silva, who today finds herself Hollywood's most notorious other woman. She's been probably having an affair with him since she started with the company. The moment she came out here, I said, Kim will sleep her way to the top if she has to. She will do whatever it takes for her to make you. Whether what they believe is true or not, Lisa Spencer and her boyfriend Joe Piccoli claim to have been the best friends and confidants of Kim Silva ever since the three first met and became roommates at a small community college back in their home state of New Jersey. These never-before-seen photographs were taken during that period, and according to Lisa, it was only after she and Joe moved out to Hollywood following graduation that Kim Silva decided to tag along and take a stab at stardom. She wanted stardom. She wanted to get, you know, to the top of the hill or, you know, show Hollywood that Kim Silva's here and, you know, she wanted to make her mark. And in this exclusive interview with The Current Affair, Joe and Lisa break their silence and share some insights into their friend, a woman who for the last two years has been an almost constant companion of Tom and Roseanne Arnold and who most people now believe was the main reason for the breakup of Hollywood's most high-powered husband and wife. There was times she tried, you know, she tried to go with me when Lisa was at work or something. Kim kind of liked to date our friends' boyfriends behind the, the girls' backs and got caught a couple times. What do you mean by that? Dated other girlfriends' boyfriends. Kim liked to do that? Yeah, she liked to. Why? Um, liked challenges, loved challenge. She just wanted it all in one shot and as fast as she can get it. And once in Hollywood, success did come fast for Kim Silva. First, she landed a job as a receptionist at Tom and Roseanne's TV company, Wapolo County Productions. Yet a current affair has learned that less than three months later, Silva was already on her way up the corporate ladder. It's pretty tough to be a receptionist, you know, one month and then have three promotions especially the fact that she was a flake in college. Two months after the ra after she got her first promotion, I said, Lise, she's either sleeping with somebody in there that's big or she's with Tom. And as Kim rose through the ranks, she soon became inseparable from her bosses, Tom and Roseanne. Yet according to Lisa, Kim was a lot more inseparable from Tom than she was from Rosie. We were out to dinner once, and he paged her quite a few times throughout the dinner. And Tom paged her. Tom did, Tom yeah. Arnold. And she called... Tom back on his cellular phone and, hi, you know, I miss you. And we talked to him, but like a little bit of sweet talkish, like not normal for employee and boss. And as rumors started swirling in Hollywood that Tom and Kim's relationship was a lot more than just employer and employee, Roseanne, in what could now be seen as a desperate attempt to save her marriage, tried to put a positive spin on the scandal by very publicly announcing that both she and Tom were going to marry Silva. They bought her a ring, and then one night, the Arnolds even yeah, joked about the relationship okay. with our John Johnston through the speaker box on, at guys, their palatial like Brentwood it. home. And we're having fun, for Christ's sake, lighten up. Everything doesn't have to be publicity, son. And we are going to marry her, and everybody should just lighten up and get a sense of humor. Okay, and we're going to get married. But soon the fun and games seem to come to an end, and some in Hollywood are now saying that the joke may have been on Roseanne. But it all seemed to explode last Friday, when according to a current affairs sources, a violent argument erupted between Tom and Roseanne outside the studio where Rosie shoots her hit TV series. Within minutes, Tom Arnold had reportedly been thrown off the lot, and both he and Kim Silva had been fired by the most powerful woman in Hollywood. But that was just the beginning.
For soon, cops were called to Roseanne's Brentwood estate by someone claiming a burglar was on the premises. Lieutenant John Duncan is with the LAPD. Uh, the officers responded. They found no burglary, no, no burglary suspect. Uh, required no police action on their part. Didn't take a report, and they cleared from the scene. And while oh, cops made no time. arrest, Roseanne, in her restraining order, identified the alleged intruder as her husband, Tom Arnold. She claimed he threatened her children and threatened to kill one of her assistants. She also claimed that throughout their marriage, Tom had been, quote, physically and emotionally abusive towards me, that he'd hit me, struck me, has thrown objects at me, pinched me, and pushed me against walls. Roseanne then stated that she was, quote, extremely afraid for my physical safety. In the complaint, there was no mention of Kim Silva, but yesterday it was spring cleaning at Roseanne's house. As assistants carried out armloads of Tom's clothing and the clothing of his alleged new girlfriend, Kim Silva, the woman who Roseanne threw her squawk box had once joked about marrying, but when I went to the same squawk box to get a comment, this time, no one was laughing. Hi there. Is uh, Tom or Roseanne available? No, they are not. Anybody uh, give us a comment about uh, the news reports about them breaking up? I'm sorry. Uh, no comment at this, at this point. Do you think she cares that Roseanne may be hurt, deeply hurt by this? No, if she cared, she wouldn't be where she is. She would have never got involved in the first place. And, of course, the question now is, what will the fallout be from this war of Hollywood heavyweights? Tom and Roseanne sit atop a multi-million dollar empire here, so who gets what? We may get some answers tonight because Roseanne is scheduled to appear at a comedy banquet, and you can bet all eyes will be on her. Back to you. Well, we may have to wait a bit longer, Mike, because we just got word here that Roseanne's appearance at that banquet has been canceled. And as A Current Affair found out today, the Arnold divorce is reaching past the Hollywood Hills and spreading all the way to Eldon, Iowa, the place Roseanne and Tom once called their second home. But what a difference a day makes. It's thousands of miles away from the spotlights of Hollywood, but here in the town of Eldon, folks are starting to wonder about the news sweeping the nation. Gossip about the Roseanne and Tom split started here in Tom's hometown of Ottumwa, Iowa. Not surprised, but hell, you know, I like them. And here at the Mr. Quick Hamburger Joint, opinions were tossed out as the morning paper made the rounds. It might hurt Eldon a little bit. I don't like that kind of thing, but... Anybody would run her parents down like she did, she's a sc and just down the road in Eldon, home to Tom and Roseanne's Big Food Diner, locals were also making a meal of the news. I think it's just publicity. Well, I mean, they can do what they want to do. No, I read it in the Courier. She did act kind of funny when they had their anniversary down here. Ask her how she liked the Eldon. She said, oh, I don't know. You know, it didn't sound like Roseanne. Tom and Roseanne bring a lot of business and spend a lot of money in their town. This is the first look at what has been called the most expensive home ever built, a mansion the Arnolds were building on 1,700 acres. Today, the grounds were quiet, and that's got the town talking. They stopped the construction work out their house 11 o'clock yesterday, yesterday. Sent the guys home yesterday, which is bad. It's put a lot of people out of work. And this morning at Tom and Roseanne's diner, the open sign was lit, but every table was empty. And while opinions vary, there's at least one woman who hopes Roseanne makes it back to Eldon sooner rather than later. So I'm hoping she comes in June to our Gothic Day, and uh, maybe she will. Well, Roseanne is reportedly planning to be far away from Eldon and wants to weather this storm out in Europe.